This is Alan Weinkrantz with the Rackspace Startups Program. I'm here with Marios and John. I'm going to ask you to introduce yourselves. You're here in, we're in Patras, Greece with Dialog Semiconductor, and you guys are really good examples of, of the amazing ecosystem here in Greece of this deep, deep expertise in semiconductors. Introduce yourself. So I'm John Kikiris. I'm a program manager within the Bluetooth Low Energy uh, unit of Dialog Semiconductor, and I'm actually working in this side, okay. designing chips. And? So I'm Mario Siliopoulos and uh, I'm a director of engineering uh, responsible for applications, Bluetooth applications, uh, but also responsible for the department in Greece. Okay, and um, I was told that you had um, a hand in even having uh, Intel come here and... Yeah, and uh, Apple. And uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, yeah, actually Intel came here through acquiring a company that acquired a startup company here. Right. Ago, 1999, it was the first acquisition. Okay. Uh, that Giga, that was a Danish company, actually acquired the, that former startup, Synergy Systems. And then Giga was acquired in turn in the year 2000 by Intel and became part of the optical communications group of Intel. So, can we go for a walk? I mean, I'm looking here. I see engineers, I see pool, things going on. By the way, I had some fabulous coffee. <laughs> and um, I could be really anywhere in the world in a design center, uh, but I think the, the coolest thing I've seen is outside, you've got obviously fabulous weather, wonderful food, great coffee. W uh, tell us about, you, you were telling me you also worked on wi the beginnings of Wi-Fi. Yeah. Where's, uh, where's the outdoor? Here. Yeah. Okay. And the other is, obviously, you're working on the future because everything we have today, that's a great term. It's personal, it's portable, and it's connected. Yeah. Wow. So this is the office. Yep. Yeah. This is our space. This it's is what? Our, this is our outdoor space where we can actually sit, work, and enjoy. Yeah. Wow, this is nice. This work has to go together with a nice environment, right? Yeah. You know what? The lighting... Here you go. This is better. Okay. All right. So, where did all this come from, all this expertise? So, yeah, I mean, uh, this is a uh, uh, department with uh, quite some history, starting, as we said, uh, from companies like Intel or Admel, uh, that. Uh, decided to invest in, uh, in Greece. Right. So people, uh, teams, core teams from uh, these big companies uh, uh, created an ecosystem uh, here in Patras uh, with uh, new startups and new companies. Right. Uh, and uh, you know, with this space, uh, we managed also to grow new uh, new uh, startups and new companies uh, like uh, Dialog here. So uh, at the moment we are uh, again on a development phase here in Dialog. Uh, uh, we managed to grow from uh, 20 engineers uh, to uh, almost 70 right now. Okay. Engineers uh, based on the fact that we we have these core teams and building on top of this with new engineers and so on. Okay. So, yeah. How do you work with OEMs and ODMs that come to you looking for, uh, you know, everything is portable, everything is light, everything needs your, your brilliance inside. So let's say I'm a, I'm a manufacturer, I'm a brand, and I come to you. How does it work? What do we do? Uh, I will leave it to John because he's uh, the one that, uh, you know, uh, Heads right now the, the go to market uh, okay. strategy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for, essentially, for essentially, essentially it actually comes down into making sure that you provide all the tools and all the capabilities to your customers. Right. And of course, having very knowledgeable people in your support organization to support your customers to build the exact application they want to build. And typically, customers know what they want. The key issue is facilitating them to take what they want to do and do it in what you provide as infrastructure, what you provide as foundation. And um, Dialog is very good in supporting uh, their customers, especially OEMs and all 
the different and Marius is in the apps group essentially making sure that the customers get all the support they need to get their application up and running and into the market. Okay. So um, what's the cycle? Let's say I'm a I'm a brand, brand X, and I come to you and I say we're working on a Gizmo gadget, wearable, IoT, something or other. We want to have it out in 20, like right now, it's almost the end of 2015. Would you actually bring to market, it takes, how long does it actually take before you can, you know, to work with your design team, you know, make sure the spec is right, do your production runs, send it to my manufacturer, box it, ship it, have it in a store. Is this a six month process, a year long process, or? It's, uh, we are working right now on consumer electronics, so this is a uh, uh, quick turnaround uh, cycles, very fast design times, okay. very uh, short uh, life uh, cycle uh, for the products. So everything is, uh, is, is done uh, you know, in, uh, uh, in high speed. So uh, the, the teams here uh, start uh, engage almost from the start, from the design. Uh, Phase uh, of the customer. Uh, we have a, a structure like an onion, you can imagine like an onion, where we have our FAEs very uh, close to the customer, and then we have our customer support teams that support uh, the, most of the issues, and then we have a team, a core team internally, like apps okay. for uh, product software that uh, cover all the rest of the issues. So we, st we engage from the start uh, with uh, the customer, uh, we help him to design uh, by providing feedback uh, or by helping uh, on, the, uh, on the, the hardware design uh, or the software design, the software architectures, and then uh, we follow his development uh, almost until uh, mass production. So, okay. uh, we, we do customization, especially for our biggest customers, software offering, uh, we do uh, support on issues, uh, even we create production tools for them uh, to uh, go into uh, mass production. Okay. And everything is done in a very fast pace because we are doing this as a, about three to six months. Uh, How long? Three to six three months. Three to six months, okay. Design cycles. And then mass production. Okay. Did you ever foresee five years ago that we'd be walking around, four years ago, three years ago, we'd all be walking around carrying these incredibly powerful devices and, and even going into the, the future. I know it's hard to predict the future, but um, in IoT, connected health, you're part of that whole vision. Yeah, you can uh, never know what uh, will happen in six months in our business, I think. Yeah. But uh, yes, uh, we, uh, as, as uh, I said, we were, uh, one, uh, we were pioneers in Wi-Fi. Right. We started from uh, the, the, the pre-standards of Wi-Fi and uh, we saw it growing. So uh, this was a roller coaster actually uh, at that time. And we see something similar also happening now with uh, Bluetooth Smart. So uh, we see that uh, there are uh, lots of uh, uh, interest engagements and I think that this is a business that will definitely okay. grow fast and uh, in very huge numbers. Very interesting. Thank you so much both of you. Thank You're you. Welcome.